How many takes is this? I have no idea. And it's me, Cindy, again. <sighs> Tired. Oh, sore. I just want to go to sleep. I don't want to do anything else. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Did I just, I just heard a dog barking in the background. I don't want to have to take a dog out. Not right now. I'm trying to relax. I had a nice, rough, I had a rough day. Well, not really a rough day, just that I walked a lot. I walked from home up to the food stamp place. From this food stamp place up to the library. And then from the library home. My feet hate me. When I sat up after being at the library for a while, my body hated me. But we're starting to reconnect. <laughs> you know what I mean? <coughs> Our sink is fixed. Yeah. Apparently there was something down there. Grease or something that he found. So he just told us to be careful. So my stepfather's going to be doing dishes from now on. I'll probably mop the floor tomorrow. Okay, sweep, sweep mop the floors because they do need it. My room, my, my bathroom, and the kitchen floor. Maybe even the hallway towards right out here. Oh. My mom was surprised that I woke up early. I was surprised that I got up early. I was actually up before 9 o'clock. Can you believe that? I'm not usually up before 9 o'clock. My mom, ha somebody has to come in and get me up. So when I'm up at 9 o'clock, there's something wrong. But then again on Sunday, I was up early in her, like about 8 o'clock, because I had to, because I had to be... Maybe even seven three. I don't know. All I do know is that I had to be up early because I needed to go to the nine o'clock service at my church. I like my church. It's fun. It's a good church. I posted something from church on YouTube from Sunday. Didn't get the service though. I wish I had, but I didn't. I just got one song. It's a good song. It was a new song. Drew and the band, they're good. I like them. In fact, I hope I don't get in trouble for this because the last time I did music tool for background to background the um people running YouTube I did two songs for background check just for background music. I did the um Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf. And I did Day Tripper by the Beatles. And you know which one they blocked by my this for? Which I'm not upset about. I understand. I'm not upset about. It. Just that I was surprised that Meatloaf was the only one they did. They blocked me for. They did not block me because of the Beatles, which was a surprise because I don't know why they wouldn't block me because of the Beatles song, but they did. See this? This is a DVD it's by called Love Can. It's, it's the band from my church made it. The band from my church made it. It was right around the time that I would mean I was starting to go. And I was still being a little bit ornery about having to go. So I'm going to try and put on one. It's not too noisy. So you can still hear my voice and yet hear the song at the same time. I'm going to try Our Hope. That is number 12. Let's see what happens. Nice, isn't it? 
Drew. If you ever want to hear them. Worship leader, Drew Bodine. He's the worship leader. He plays electric guitar and acoustics guitar. And then there's Christian Sagam, worship leader and keyboards. Christian. Laura Bodine, worship leader and vocals. Phil Burrell. Lead the guitar. And on and on and on and on. There is one guy that I want to tell you about. His name is Gary... Gary Ward. He's the rapper of the group. Now what really surprises me about that is... You had broken that... You're looking at somebody who does not like rap, does not like hip-hop. Yet one day, when I was coming out of church, because I ended up having to go to the 12 o'clock service for some reason that day... I met Garrett. He was just sitting outside. Church was over. Services were over. He was just standing outside with a friend talking to other people. And I walked up to him. And I even told him the truth. I go, look, I'm normally not a rap person. I normally don't like rap or, or hip-hop. I go, but, but I told him, I go, you are good. And he appreciated it. He appreciated it a lot. And then that day when I got home and I got on Facebook, first thing I did was I went and I found him. And I sent a friend request. And he took it. We don't really talk much, but just knowing that I have a friend from church on Facebook is good for me. I've got Gary. I've got Drew. And then I'm online with church for it, the church warriors for the prayer groups. And I got a Gina Brown. She was in my first and second classes for second first step and second step classes. We even sat at the same table. Yeah. I had so much fun back then. Those were so much fun. My only problem right now is trying to find my niche in the world and what to do. So this Sunday, I'm going to go in early. I'm not sure if it's going to be the 9 o'clock service or the 10.30 service. I haven't decided yet. And whatever service I go to, then after that service, I'm going to go help in the food pantry. I'm still trying to find my niche. That's all. I want to find something to do, something to give back to my church. I mean, here I am, an owner of that church, and yet I'm still not doing anything with to, for it. Yes, a, few, a little while back, they were having they were having splashed out. They had water slides for the kids and stuff. But they were also had baptisms that day. I was working one of the water slides. the last thing I've, I've every time I've tried to work for something work do something it would backfire I know you can't do this because we need you here today my parents mom I remember the time I went first when I went to first step it was a Tuesday night and my stepfather even said I can't keep driving you back and forth at night, I don't like driving, he doesn't like driving at night, so when I went to that class, and I found, finally found where I was going, I asked to go, well, because they even said, it goes, it doesn't matter if you need, you can switch, you can go to any class you want, and I looked at them, and I go, okay, because I told him, I go, about switching classes, I go because my ride can't keep driving me because you can't ride at night. And they go, don't worry, you don't want So I miss. I skipped that coming Sunday because I was still the same class and I had already gone that one. And then by accident, I missed. I missed the second class too. Through no fault of my own, I had every intention of going to it. What happened was, what happened was they failed to tell it, tell people 
they told a few, they told most people, but there were a few they didn't tell, and I was one of those few they didn't tell, that they were going to combine two classes, because they had two classes, one at 10.30 and one at 12 o'clock, and they were going to combine, they decided they were going to combine them. Well, they failed to tell me. So I decided to go to the 10.30 service and go to the 12 o'clock service, and then go to the 12 o'clock class. Well, by the time I got up there for the 12 o'clock class, everybody was breaking up. And me and a few others were pretty much on the bad, mad side, because we were in church service. If we had known that that was going to happen, then we would have said, okay, fine, we'll go to the 10.30 service. I didn't mean... I didn't mean to... I was so I was just mad at the situation, and I took it out on people, especially one. So the next time I saw them, I apologized to them. I go, look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take it out on you, just that we weren't told. And and they both said, don't worry about it. You know, we understand. I like I like churches that, for, that forgive people. I like forgiveness. That's why I was able to forgive Mo for when he got mad at me and accused me of not taking the dogs out. I do take the dogs out all the time. It seems like sometimes it seems like that's all I'm doing is taking the dogs out, especially Chico. And around dinner time, well, he drives me up the friggin' wall. You feed him, and then he comes in and he says he has to go potty. So I said, okay, let's go back. Then he runs to his dinner. Then he runs to his dinner through this meat. And then we come back. Then I come back in and sit down. Then he's back again. And then he's like, so sometimes if we need to get him to go to the bathroom, sometimes I just have to pick up the food just so he I can get him to come out. Or I just ignore him. If I got one of the dogs to come out, then I just take that one dog out. Let the dog out. And then I just stand there by the glass door. And eventually I know he'll come, which he does. Sometimes he's even at the door after I left the other dog out. Then he's, then I turn around, there he is at the door, at the glass door, waiting to come out. I would really like some feedback on this song. I like it. I like all the songs on this album. I like the album. When I was taking, um, when I was taking first and second step, that's how I got this album. That's how I got this. Just going through that. As soon as the day that we got this, first thing out of my mouth when I saw that he was giving it to us, I thought, I've been wanting that. And I am so glad I got it. I don't know what else I got. I'll show you. They gave me four the two classes. My color, pink. Isn't it pretty? Nothing in it, though. I took everything out. I'll tell you one thing right now. If anybody wants, if there's anybody out there who wants to come to church service at at Central Central Christian Church, Las Vegas, or in this case, probably I think Henderson, all you have to do is come to 100, 1100. Uh, Oh boy. I'm going to scrape this 
That's great, that's not. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello. I'm back. The address. 101 New Beginnings Drive, Henderson, Nevada, 89011. That is the address of the church. If anybody out there... In... Sorry about that. If anybody out there in Las Vegas or Henderson want to go to a church for it. And you don't even have to come on Sundays. They got... We've got five services. Two on Saturday nights, 4.30 and 6, or three on Sundays, 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., or 12 o'clock. If I'm not mistaken, we even have a Spanish-speaking church there. So if anybody of the Spanish nature need a church coming, I'm not sure what time that church service is, but all you have to do is just call up the church at... Oh yeah, forgot. They don't give out num They don't give their phone numbers out on the um, business cards. Isn't that just smart? They give out business cards, but yet they don't have the phone numbers. Can you believe it? Throw me crazy. I finally looked it up. Finally looked it up in the um, phone book ones. Yeah, that's how I got it. I looked it up in the phone book. I even went around a few times and I said, you know, with these cards, I go, you told them a few people saying, you really should get the phone number on these cards. You really should. And they have room. They can put it anywhere. Yeah. Like up on the top. Or maybe underneath or on the side. Anywhere. There's a little room for it anywhere. But they haven't. Hmm. I'm going to pick. It stopped. So I'm going to go to track number one. No. Wait. Pulled it. What's track number one? I'm going to go to track number five. Because that's another one of my favorites. I just hope they'll let me, you know, post this. Because if they don't let me post it, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hot. I'm starting to get hot. this for us. You will never give up. I want to apologize to everybody. My singing isn't exactly up to par. That's why I'm not in the church choir, church worship game. They wouldn't want me. No, nobody would. I'm not a singer at all. thirsty. Well, I'm going to stop for now. I hope to see I hope it, I hope people watch this. If not, one of these days somebody will see me see it besides me. See you later. Bye.